sea of clouds. Okay, perfect. Right, now, amazing. Okay. Now, Let's, before yes. you guys carry on with yeah. Gavin, why are the battle bond lands not in Commander Precon? In every Commander Precon, we're holding your feet to the fire here. <laughs> why are they not in every single Commander Precon? Welcome to Shuffle Up and Play. Today, Battle Bond, Two-Headed Giant. We are promoting the newest product from Wizards of the Coast here today. That's why Gavin, this is in stores when? When will this be hitting stores? Shall us, Gavin. Uh, 2018, just after Dominaria, but before Corset 2019. All right, so I hope very much that you go down to your local game store in 2018 and pick up some Battle Bond. Oh wait, this came out a while ago. Well, we love Battle Bond. It's actually one of my favorite sets. And so I have invited here a team to play against us with Battle Bond and Two-Headed Giant. Who am I up against? I don't know, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Oh, God damn it. You're first. Fine. I'm Olivia Gobert Hicks. I am, oh God. I who are you? I don't know, I do too much stuff. Don't worry, we'll edit this out and not leave it in for comedic effect that no, you, were, you, you stumbled at who you are. <laughs> you stumbled at who you are. Oh, she she, she didn't get her name right. She got her name right. I know who I am. Out. I'm just deciding what parts of me I want to discuss. What should I reveal to the world about my deepest, darkest secrets? Not much. <laughs> so, so when you were eight. <laughs> I wanted to be a pilot. Anyway, I am on the Commander Rules Committee. I am a co-host of Elder Dragon Hijinks with Ailey. I stream Commander and try to be offline more because I enjoy my mental health. You wanted to be a pilot, now you get to pilot decks. Hey, oh, it all works out. Hey. Well, I really wanted to be a jeweler, but I am one, so that all worked out. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah, it took a while, but we got there. And we let you choose your teammate here. Who did you choose? There was no choice involved. <laughs> I was roped into this. Wow, wow. This, this hurts deep in my no, soul. No, it doesn't, you're fine. Tell them who you are. I'm Brian Kibler. Uh, I am a former Magic Pro player and member of the Magic Hall of Fame, a uh, former game designer who talks a lot about other games these days, and uh, streamer, YouTuber, and you didn't even mention our show, co-host of Commander at Home, our new Commander show. Wow. Which isn't out at the time of recording, which is why I forgot it. Anyway. Links in the description if we win. <laughs> My partner today is the one and only Gavin Verhey of Wizards of the Coast. Gavin, who are you and what do you do at Wizards of the Coast? Hi everyone, I am a principal game designer on a little card game called Magic the Gathering. It's a deck master game, in case you're not familiar. It says so on the back of the card, deck master. Back of every card. Is this an expert level set? Uh, this is a battle bond level set, so <laughs> whatever you want to call it. Uh, but we are experts here, of course, trained, trained experts. Uh, so I design what a lot of Magic cards do. I mostly focus on Commander and other social play products. So I've designed a lot of different Commander decks, Brothers War Commander. I've got the Doctor Who Commander decks coming out in the not too distant future, which is actually uh, pretty apropos for today, I gotta say. I, I think Doctor Who is a show that's fantastic, but I have not seen the product yet, so you'll just have to tune in to Tularian Community College <laughs> for those reviews and commentary. And we went with the, the, the classic other Hasbro product of uh, Doctors and Dragons. Doctors and Dragons. Doctors and Dragons. And Dragons. Yeah. 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 Right, right. Doctors and, and Dragons. Battle Bond was your baby though, right? Can it, you tell us about your relationship with Battle Bond? This is why I really just, wanted you. You just said it was his baby, that's his relationship. Well, yeah. what, what does that mean? <laughs> to the viewer at home, what does it mean? <laughs> Father. <laughs> you designed all the cards in the set from scratch yourself and play tested them in isolation, correct? <laughs> So, uh, so Battle Bond was the first set I ever got to lead design. It was a really exciting thing. Actually, cool. Sean Main, former Magic designer, right. uh, kind of spearheaded the idea of Battle Bond and had this really cool idea for a two-headed giant product. And then after his initial design, he handed it off to me to kind of carry home. And it was me and a team of excellent individuals that worked on this together to bring it to what it is now, which is a way to play two-headed giant. It's so fun because you get to play with somebody, a friend, an enemy, someone who, uh, a partner. And one of my favorite things about Battle Bond is when it came out, I went to stores and saw people playing together. People went and played in ages, families playing together, uh, spouses playing with each other, and they would high five, they would smile as they were playing. It was so fantastic, and I'm so happy to play it again. It's been a couple years now. We'll, we'll have none of that here. You're not supposed to have fun playing Magic. No, no, no. That's what competitive I have to say, it, it sounds like in the description, like, 
before Battle Bond was like the dark time. Yeah. Yes, no one smiled. Was. Like there was no joy in the world. <laughs> Battle Bond is like, it brought Christmas cheer right. back to the universe. That, that, is, that is objectively correct. At first there was nothing. And then there was Battle Bond, you know? That's how it all well, goes. There must have been something. I'm just noticing this now. We were actually arguing about when it came out and I'm seeing on the box, it came out for the 25 year celebration of Magic the Gathering. I'm assuming that's what the 25 is. So that's pretty cool right there. How do we play? The previous 25 years. Well, yes. They were dark. <laughs> I mean, the dark did come out in the previous 25 years, so it is on brand. I mean, obviously, lots of different kinds of fun ways to play Magic, you know, uh, like Conspiracy, for example, one of the other great, great ways that kind of preceded Battle Bond and paved the way for a booster release that wasn't just one on one, yeah, right? So we're, we're going to play Two Headed Giant. Each team is going to get six booster packs to build from. Uh, we're gonna build two seal decks out of those six booster packs. And we actually designed the set to make sure you'd be able to build a seal deck out of just six packs. Then each team will get 30 life. We'll play against each other. We take our turns simultaneously, or rather, we take our turns simultaneously. They take their turns simultaneously. We attack together, we play lands together, and so on and so forth. Now we can't use each other's mana, except for one mechanic in the set, which you'll see later. But we are essentially a team fighting against them. So it's kind of like one big one-on-one -on -one game of Magic, but with two people on each side. All right, now, we were discussing this beforehand and I'd like to ask you this officially on camera. Wouldn't it be a better result if each player got six packs like we would do for sealed or pre-release and built our decks from that? Why are you pushing for us to do six, which is three each? Well, one of the things that we were working on when we were working on the set was, it's a two at a giant focus set. How many packs should players need to be able to play, play the set? When you draft, well, normally you'll need three packs a piece. So we're like, what if we just took that number, smashed it together and made it work with six packs for both players. So when you draft Battle Bond, you actually use four packs for your whole team. Mm -hmm. And when you play Sealed, you only use six packs for the whole team. But because you divvy out the colors, more or less, you can build two Sealed decks out of those six packs. And we built the set with that in mind. Um, there's a lot of artifacts that can go in either deck, for example, a lot of things that bridge those gaps well. Did you guys follow any of that? Yes. My, my, my strategy is just to do what Gavin tells me and to win. And if we don't win, I'm gonna blame you because you literally were the lead on this set. So you should be able to guide us to victory. All right, so I'm gonna build the deck. I'm gonna right. play for both of us. You're gonna and, build both uh, of our decks. It'll be great. It's just gonna it'll be sit great. There and talk. Jinka taxis. I pulled these six packs out of the box. You're gonna pull the packs because my luck is trash. Okay, I was gonna say, do you want these six or do I get them? Okay, so I, these are our six. I'll also say one other, other thing about. Oh, wait, what he's doing? Is that allowed? He's pulling them from different yes. order. I just pulled the front six, Gavin. He sucks like, to suck. <laughs> Okay, the first six in every box are the most powerful. So we're good to go. We <laughs> okay, to first. That's, that's where. The, the, the last thing I'll say about, about Battle Bond is generally the allied color pairs are where you want to be when you're building your decks. You can go off brand, of course, but we built the set around kind of five allied color pair themes. So generally I'll be playing, say, blue, white. Brian will be playing black, red or something that doesn't overlap in that way. All right. Yes. This should be very interesting. And I do want to say that this box was not sent to us by anyone. This is from my personal collection. I've been saving it. And all joking aside, I've been saving it just for this, a game of Magic the Gathering with friends. So let's crack open these packs, build our decks, and shuffle up and play. All right, so I open three, you open three. Sure, that sounds good. Let's all just right. take a look at what we get here. And we'll kind of talk about some of the mechanics that are unique to Battle Bond as we go through. I'll let you open the first Can I pack. talk about some of the cards that were in Battle Bond that I want for my commander deck? Because doubling season is in this set. Ooh. So I'm just going to skip through all of this. Wait, where's my rare? It's at the, it's at the front. It's at the front, Brian. Where, where, the, look at this. I got no rare in my pack. I got no rare in my pack. Oh, but you did. Where? Oh, it's like right light. Right okay. there. You got, you got a partner pair to kick us off, oh, so that's awesome. Speaking cool. of mechanics in the set, this is the debut of Partner With. It showed up here in Battle Bond for the first time. So in Battle Bond, what Partner With does is when you play one, you get to target an, a player, and that player goes to search for that, that partner and put it in their hand. So what you'll often do is split them. So you'll play Gorm in your deck, for example. I'd play Virtus in my deck. And if one of them draws it, the other player tutors for the other and puts it into their hand. So it's a really fun um, kind of like High five, like, here's my guy, here's your guy kind of situation. Goblin Raise Runners. Sack a lamp, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Begin your end step, you have it. Raise Runners deal damage equal to the number of plus one, plus one counters to target creature or, play or player planeswalker, not creature or planeswalker. Regana Sanctum. I only got one rare in this one. That's That seems kind of wrong. So re this is part of a cycle, Regna Sanction. There's this friend or foe rare cycle where for each player you choose friend or foe. Pro tip, normally you choose friends for us and foes for them. Uh, Regna is a character that shows up in the set. Regna is anger backwards. We typed it in mm -hmm. and uh, wow. just never changed. Just one of those so nights. That was just, just like, you're just like, I want to go home. Quest for the Gravelord. Oh, yeah. 
This is this is like much more powerful than it would be in one v one because it counts creatures mm -hmm. and there's more creatures in play. Yeah, there's a lot of recontextualizing you got to do. All right, ooh, I got a mirror token, but the rare is angelic chorus. Oh, cool commander card. That is and, definitely. And then here's another partner pair. So there's the okay. uncommon partners, the non-legendary ones. Partners with Soul Blade Renewer there. Now you'll notice we opened up two black green partner pairs. So that really leads toward one of us being black and one the other one being green. I have to my, my, my instincts are just churning through. I'm trying to I'm trying to, you know, hold back on. <gasps> Foxy. Well, notably, you only play a one-game match with two Giants, giant, so that's why there's some cards that will do things like Silver Chase Fox, Destroy Enchantments that you'll put in your main deck so you can have outs to artifacts and enchantments in a one-game match style environment. Oh, Sea of Cloud! Okay, perfect. There we go. Right, right, now, okay. amazing. Let's, now, before yes. you guys carry on with yeah. Gavin, why are the Battle Bond lands not in Commander Precon? In every Commander Precon, we're holding your feet to the fire here. <laughs> why are they not in every single Commander Precon? Well, we debuted them here. We finished out the cycle in Commander Legends. Then we printed them again in uh, Commander Legends 2, Battle for Baldur's Gate. Mm -hmm. I could see them showing up in precons in the future. Appropriate. Bathe in Dragonfire. Oh, boy. Oh, well, we are both dragons, actually. I should show my mouth. Okay, so uh, let's sort these out a little bit here. We've yeah. got Nimbus Champion, Lilith's Hunter, Swarm Blood Oh, those aren't in Wooburg Order. Do you not know what Wooburg Order is? Yeah. I, don't, don't, don't you know about Wooburg Order? Oh, that's special R&D yeah, order. Yeah, this is, this is R&D order. All right, all right, fine. <laughs> Charging Binox, a 7-5 with assist and trample. You know, it has two heads. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Something we played Get from the set. I see what you did there. So there's a bunch of auras in this set, too. One thing that's fun is putting auras on your teammates' creatures. So there's a lot of things here that let you target your teammates' stuff. We really wanted to create high five moments where you get to, like, you and your teammate get to be like, oh, cool, we did a cool thing together, yeah. you know? And those didn't exist before this. Right, no one has ever high five. <laughs> we, we actually, I invented the high five, Brian. Don't yeah. you know about this? So this card actually jumps out at me as something that's actually quite powerful. When a warrior enters the battlefield under your team's control, put a plus one, plus one counter on this, which makes me kind of want to see if it's possible to build, like especially with this, yeah. a, a, a pair of warrior decks, maybe green, white, and black red. I'm guessing that we're doing Virtus the Veiled and Gorn the Great. Right, well, so we should definitely have one red X be black and one red X be green. So at this point, it's about figuring out what allied combos make sense with that. So we could either okay. go black, red, uh -huh. or black, blue, uh -huh. and green, white, or green, red. Okay. So I'm looking so, maybe blue, black, and red, green, and then we might, we might look at splashing this Regna Sanction right here, because this card is really strong, and this Unflinching Courage. Yeah, so I should be... Uh, yeah, red green maybe with a maybe with a splash, splash of away. white is what I was thinking, and that could be blue black potentially. I think that that sounds good. How about how about we take a look at what the the uh, red black warrior sure. deck might look like over here? Because this is this isn't a, a you know a, a process is like we build this deck and we build this deck. It's right. a process that we build these two decks together. I think this seems pretty good to me. The, like this card and that card just seems so powerful that I think it's worth trying to build toward them. Okay, you know we have to draw them right. Yes. Okay. But even one, even one person having having one of them is it, you know, makes all the rest of the cards powerful. You know? And you draw a new card every turn. Yep. It's, it's true. You do, do you do get a new card every single turn. Count how many cards we have, Brian. How many cards do we have right here? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, twenty. Twenty or thirty. Can you explain how you how you count it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So if we imagine that you're gonna splash these guys, and we need to cut five cards or so. Sky Shroud Claim, you don't have a ton to ramp into at the top end. Right. So I think we're just, gonna that's just going to go in my commander deck. Primal Hunt Beast is probably not going to go in yeah. any deck, so no. we're going to cut that. You can play it sometimes, but we're going to take that out here. Um, Battle Rampart is okay, but you don't need it. We've got a little bit of warrior synergy, so I don't, I don't mind keeping those warriors. Saddleback sure. Lagak, we must run for the name alone. Oh, well, it's also very strong. You are, so. Well, it also is called Saddleback Lagak. We're running it. This is ish a deck, so let's okay. look at what, what red-black will look like. Gotcha, gotcha. So these are the warriors we've got for this. I love Stadium Miners right there that Olivia's got in her hands, one of my favorites. It's four mana, three, three, gives someone two mana when it comes into play. Yeah. So you can like boost your, your teammate by two mana for a turn. It's such a fun little card. Yeah, that is a neat card. Oh, we have multiple Stadium Vendors. I don't like how their decks look better than ours. Do they? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, why don't we use the better cards then? Yeah, they look good. Yeah, okay. Did they crack better cards? I, I, I actually, it looks pretty evenly matched. They have a few bombs we have to watch out for. That vigor is going to be a real yeah, lot of problem for us in the show. I'm blue black. I got to cut two more cards from this list. Just blue black, some flyers, some removal, some bit of card advantage. Good old, good old fashioned blue black stuff. Mm -hmm. We're going to probably cut this rot feaster maggot. It's not really doing a lot for us here. 
maybe this dagger drum. Yep. Okay, all right. So this is 23. I th I'm pretty happy with this build. We're gonna do cool. this. We're gonna play 17 lands a piece. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna probably skew a little more towards black. You'll probably skew slightly toward green, but it's about, about an even split here. All right. Let's get, I think these seem like they're actually okay. potentially yeah. decent. I'm down for fan favorites. Is it a major advantage that we know and they know some of what's in our decks? That's probably about an equal advantage. Yeah. We yeah. both know each other's okay. decks now. Yeah. Of course, we'll all just forget it before we play it. Again. I've already so. forgotten what's in my deck. Yeah, yeah, there's no way this sticks. Sky Streamer reference to streaming. So there you go. It's even got like a, a bunch of uh, people in the stadium watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, got yeah, chat. Yeah. yeah, there's chat. That's a great reason to run a card. Look at all there. those jackasses. <laughs> and you see right, how here, far we'll, away you are so you don't have to listen we'll, to them. We'll, we'll, we'll cut this <laughs> for this. That's pretty good. There we go, yes, okay. You have five, have nine, 24. 24. Okay, we yes. wanna cut one card then. Uh, let's just cut this. Okay. If you will grab your boxes of uh, uh, sleeves, I felt for this occasion. Oh, Lord in heaven. I felt for this occasion. I have got young and old Brian. <laughs> I've got what young, in the world is young this? and old Brian Kibler. Go ahead, open it up, Holy. take a look. That's really funny. Tesseract. This is Brian Kibler from his uh, <laughs> Pro Tour days. <laughs> that, and then that's Brian Kibler. That's this. Brian Kibler that's as he looks so now. Funny. Okay, so I told you what I did at uh, Magic 30 in Vegas, right? Right. So I was in Onyx costume and everything, and I ended up walking, I was walking towards the artist alley, and Kyle Hill was in front of me. Right. He did not see me, so I was just like, I have to. So I walked up and tapped him, oh, hi, honey! And he turns around, <laughs> I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And he was <laughs> absolutely stone-faced me, like, you gotta be kidding me. I was like, no, I just, you were there, I had to. This, this is really funny. There we go. <laughs> that's 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 what that's Brian Kibler of today and Brian Kibler of yesterday. Can I, can I at least use the sleeves that actually have my face on them? Do you? Would you? <laughs> but you don't look. You, would you really? Okay, I'll leave it up to you. Would you really like the sleeves with your face on it, or the sleeves that look more like you today? Because you look more like that this than this. This is just creepy to me. So yes. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Dra the, the, th the thing Brian is not prepared for right. is. We're gonna be holding our hands like this the whole time. <laughs> yeah. This is looking across so the table so at the entire get to look time. At Brian Kibler at home. Hilarious. Right. This is Brian Kibler. <laughs> That's at Kibler home. at there home. There we go. So, <laughs> so for, for for anyone uh, who may have missed the story before, at like one of the first uh, magic events, like after you know when there were still magic events again uh, in Vegas, I was standing at the uh, the vendors, and I see this kid just looking at me from afar. And he's just looking and looking and looking and finally seems to like build up the courage to come over to me. And he comes over and he's like, hey, um, are you Kyle Hill? And I'm just, you know, like, no, I'm, I'm not Kyle Hill. And he stands there for like a full beat and is like, are you sure? <laughs> I was like, yes, I'm sure that I am not Kyle Hill. Meanwhile, Kyle is literally 15 feet away from this. <laughs> All right, before we begin, we need to roll to see who goes first. Now, since we're a team, should we not each roll one die to roll as a team? We shall. Does that make sense? And then you can each roll one die, and so. All right, roll in unison, all right? Well, let's let's at least, no, so we unison. see there. In yeah, unison, yeah. all right, one, two, three. I got a two. I got a two. Four. Right, we, we got yeah! yeah! Oh! All right. Now, would Dragons you, greater than doctors. Now, would but. you like to play or draw? It's an interesting right, choice. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to play or draw? I think we want to play. Because okay. if you're on the draw, you get two extra cards. Yeah, but we have warriors that are going to beat you up. Wow. All right, oh, fine. wow. Okay. Fine. Uh, shall we resolve mulligans? Right. Now, notably, in Two Headed Giant, yes. each player gets a free mulligan. It's a multiplayer game, so cool. if you want to take a free mulligan, you, you can. Am I allowed to ask my partner in Battle Bond if I should mulligan? Yeah, you totally can. Cool. We can share all our information. Right? Like, we can talk about whatever we want. Is, this is Gavin just basically playing my game for me. Do I mulligan this, Gavin? Well, I like my hand. Your hand. We're on the draw. It's rough, isn't it? It's close. I, I think I'm into, it's close. I think I'm into keep, but we'll see how it goes for us. Okay, so if I keep this and it's ruined, it's your fault. Yes, absolutely, yeah, without a doubt. Okay. It might go very badly. We're gonna find out. You're but right. they got a fast deck. We gotta be able to beat their fast start, you know? Yeah, well, we don't know what they have in their deck. Oh, wait, we do. <laughs> you have to remember to know. I don't remember what's in my deck. There you go. All right, shall we? We shall. All right. I have a forest. Oh, God. I have a brain. Nice. Tr try, Swap. maybe take the claws off. Okay. Don't tell me my business. We right. know you have Don't, don't declaw, Olivia. Yeah. <laughs> she cannot be declawed. I tried. I, I tried playing with these. And let you me good, tell you, scrub. This, let's go. This doesn't work. Even with the fingers sticking. Wow. Yeah, see, I even drew my seven with the paws, so. 
That's so you can unlock your phone while you've got the claws on. Yeah. You know, that's very important. All right, are you done with your riveting yes, we're first? Done. We're done. Play? Okay, fascinating. All right, let me All try right. here. Come on. Oh, look what oh, I got. There we go. Powerhouse time. All right. All right, I'm going to play an island. I'm going to play a forest. Wow, this is so exciting. Here we are. My goodness, look at this board. Pass? Are we? Do, pass? do you feel battle bonded right now? Are we? Let's move to attackers. Move to attackers. Uh, second main? Uh, yeah, second main. Second main? End step. End step. Pass. And you were, giving, you were yeah. giving us, us, you know, flack for yes. not just saying go instantly. Okay. Just returning the favor. Okay. okay. That's all. Ooh, ooh. Mm -hmm. All right. So I will play first. I will play decorated champion. I'm gonna play a mountain. So whenever another warrior enters the battlefield under my team's control, put a possible. If you have if you have rush blade commander, I swear. Hmm? No, we don't. Oh, okay. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> yes, let's play that. Yeah. One. Okay. I will tap two, and play borderland marauder. Oh, that's pretty good. Is a warrior. So plus one plus one counter on. Hey. Okay. Right. <laughs> Olivia, way to commit to the bit. I am committing to the bit. For dragons, right, I have right, to have all the advantages and disadvantages. All right, well, what they got going you on? You drew before I drew. Yeah, you're out of sync now. All right, so I, I have uh, a mountain. I'm playing a mountain. Nice. All right, Gavin, explain why I am very wisely playing a canopy spider. It's a 1-3 reach. Well, I'm going to play a Doom Dissenter, which is a 1-1. One, one. The reason why is so if she attacks with Borderland Marauder, you attack the whole team so we can yes. block together. Yeah. So if we block the Borderland Marauder with a 1-3 and a 1-1, one, 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 she'll only have three power, so she can't kill off both of our creatures. Okay. Um, where if we had played, I'm not saying you have a 1-2 in your hand, but if you don't had tell played, but if you had played a 1-2 creature, it wouldn't work out the same way. You don't have to be that specific in your example. I wanted, it's for the viewers. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait, wait, wait. So instead of playing that planeswalker that I might have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. the, the, sure. two drop, yeah the, two, the two drop the, planeswalker. Red and that was six, a, which you did not choose to cast this <laughs> right. turn. That's not even the set. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me how to play magic, okay, Brian? Yeah. All right, pass the turn. Yeah. Oh my god, Olivia. What? It's. You wanted me to wear a costume. I'm wearing a costume. Yep. Okay. Yes, okay. you should play that. <laughs> Shut the hell up. <laughs> That's the name of the show, right? <laughs> Shut the hell up. I wanted to call it, so fun fact, I wanted to call the show Shut the Hell Up and Play. Uh, Shut Up and Play, but there's a show already called that, and it's a music channel. Huh. Not, I don't know if it's any good. Maybe you can check it out, but it's called Shut Up and Play. It's a music tutorial channel. That'd be like a giving your channel the same acronym as another popular YouTube channel, which I would never do. Right. Good, good no, 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 morning. no, 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 no. <laughs> red, red, red link. Right. Oops. I think this is better. Okay. Is I'm going to fertile ground your swamp. Okay. Ooh. If, if anything else, it's just cooler to do it this way. It is cool. Because you can. Right, so now she's got and four mana to play one. with. And what does fertile ground do so again? Fertile ground makes this land produce an additional mana of any color. So normally you just fertile ground your own land, but in battle bond, I can ramp my teammate. Yes. I will tap four. <laughs> it's amazing. It's working. It's something all right. And play goblin raise runners. Ooh, Which yeah. will put a counter on this, because yep. it's a warrior. Yep. Uh, pay one red sack of land, put a counter on Goblin Raise Runners at the beginning of my end step. I can have a deal damage equal to the number of counters on it to target player or planes. Wow. And then let's attack. Okay. So we will Stay attack with fancy. both of these. All right, Gavin, this is literally the situation right. you prepared us for. So what are we doing uh, here? Let's double block that Borderland Marauder and get it out of there. We're blocking the Borderland Marauder with the Canopy Spider and the Doomed Dissenter. So we definitely just want to kill yeah, the Yeah, we're just going to kill the spider. All right, spider down. And then you take, your team takes four. We take four. So we go down to 26. I can't help but notice that your plan is I lose my creature and you're that fine. Is, yeah. Our creature dies. Yes, that Okay, is. move that into, oh my God. Well, she got to choose which right. creature dies. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't his plan. That was Everything our plan. Everything was. <laughs> yeah. All right. We Listen, also did team game. Team game. Team we also didn't describe game. our plan to them before they were executed, which is probably helpful for them. That's more on you than me. Ooh. Uh, and then you guys are done. The yeah. infighting is over. Right. Yeah. 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 Right. Draw in unison. Draw in unison. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to play a land. You're playing a land. Playing a land too. I will tap three for a dagger back basilisk. It's a two two death, death touch. Okay. That's right. We're bringing dagger back. Those other daggers don't know how this to is act. <laughs> this is nature's way of saying do not touch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then I've got this. Yeah. You want me well, to, you want me to fire kinda, that do you wanna, Well, you want to not do it too soon, though. But that's yeah. pretty, pretty. Like, both these are kind of bad news for us. I, right? I don't like Olivia's more than Brian's, even yeah. though Brian's the better player. So I don't know. Wow. <laughs> just firing her off. <laughs> He thinks I'm going to be insulted. It is objectively true. <laughs> well, I feel like we should fire this off. All right. 
So I mean, I'm going to just explain my thought process. So right. I'm going to cast Claustrophobia. Right. We can deal with one of their two creatures. Now, there's reasons why we won't want to choose either of them. One note is the Graze Runner's ability will still be active if we Claustrophobia it. So mm -hmm. that's a little weaker there. This is also larger, potentially going to grow larger. We've got the Daggerback Basilisk to trade with something they attack with. So my my inclination is to Claustrophobia this and yeah. let the Daggerback Basilisk block the Raze Runners if they attack with it. Cool. Um, that was my inclination as well, so I'm glad we're right. in agreement, partner. There Boom. we go. There we that go. It's claustrophobied. Lock that thing down. That is some scary yeah. art, too, by the way. Yeah, that yeah. thing is, is, is stuffed in a art. coffin. Cool. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be our turn. All right. Shut up. <laughs> you draw two cards, Olivia. We're watching. Yeah. yeah watching. We've got a judge at the table. Four the four old judge. dragon claw maneuver. You yes. know, you draw two cards okay. instead of one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna swamp with the fertile ground for a black and a red. I will play quest for the Gravelord. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I will <laughs> chain lightning the basilisk. Ooh. All right, and that puts a counter on the quest for the Gravelord. And when you yes. get three counters, you get a five-five. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. And now we're gonna we're gonna give him the beat down. Go for it. I mean, I'm just trying to get find the one on this die. <laughs> <laughs> Keep looking. I know, I will. Yeah, I got it! <laughs> And then let's go ahead and attack. Whee! Yeah. Now, I think we probably don't want to jump block here because it will especially speed up their quest for the Grave Lord. I so. can't jump block. Right. <laughs> and I'm not going to, so we'll take three. Team game, right. prop. Team game. Right. Great. I will play Lightwalker. Oh, nice. And uh, that will grow this. Yep. For when it eventually untaps. When you draw your Silver Chase Fox right. that exactly. you put it at the last yeah. minute. Or perhaps an instant that untaps it. Oh. Go aim ahead. time to aim high. All right. And you're right. leaving up two mana. Okay. Yes, I am. Untap. Play a land. Yeah, definitely doing that. I think what I want to do is, is play a land as well. That All right, so I'm going to tap three. Yeah. And I'm bringing into play a Relentless Hunter. This is a 3-3, three, three, but I can spend three, a green, a red, and another, to give it plus one, plus one, and trample right. till end of turn. And that'll stack, even though the trample doesn't. Right, it'll keep getting bigger and bigger. Trample. The, <laughs> the trample does trample. not trample. Yes. I'm going to play this thing. Which Let's will do help it. Come up the board a little bit. Saltwater Stalwart. It's a mm -hmm. card that showed up in Battle Bond. A brand new magic card. Yes. For the time. It's actually about five years old. When is the episode coming out, bro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, whenever this card deals combat damage to an opponent, target player draws a card. So it's like a scroll thief that nice. can go to either That's of us. That's great. Nice. Scroll thief. Go ahead. Oh, it's a Fidian, man. It's a Fidian. Well, you, don't have to, you don't have to prevent the damage it would deal. It's true. It's true. It's true. Guys... Yeah, go ahead. Okay. okay. So. Uh, this, this, this. Okay. I. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we're. Someday, 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 a prince will come. Dreams, dreams. Anyway, will come. Oh no, he's right here. Yes. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, he's, he's right, right there. there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or he's ass right here. Let's let's be real, you know. Right. In order for me to like, you know, do much, Contribute? we need yeah. this help. Yes. So let's play. Let's play this. <laughs> okay. Pre-combat. First main stadium vendors. Ooh. Brian, I'm going to let you have two mana of any color you yes. choose. What does stadium vendors do? I'm gonna let him have two mana of any color he chooses. All right. All right. Wait, wait, what does Stadium Vendors do? I'm gonna let him have two mana of any color as he chooses. If we ask enough touch, he might choose one of us. So yeah. we just gotta keep, keep asking. That's the idea. Right? Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna choose green, because I choose green, that's my thing. And I'm gonna play the uh, remarkably named Saddleback Legac. Right. Yeti up. Yeah, we beat you uh, it. We're gonna put a plus one plus one counter on Lightwalker, which will give it flying. Yes. And then we're gonna put a plus one plus one counter on this. Yeah! Which Triggers with its ability, even if you don't attack. So right. we have one facing up. No. So I don't think we want to attack with that now, because that will. Uh, they do have the opportunity to block it there, and I think we want to just get the ping on with that. You do not have any flyers though, Correct. so this is no a flyer. great opportunity. Oh, and that yeah. is a. No, it's a goblin, not a warrior. Yeah. No, it's uh, a goblin warrior. The, this guy. We oh, just play. Just the goblin. I was just seeing yeah. if this guy was going to get any more counters. No. So I think we're just going to attack with the light walker for three. Can't block. No flying. We'll take three. And I'll ping you for one. And then, yeah, then the trigger from, mm -hmm. from this. Down to 19. So we are at 19 now. All right, the old 19 to 30. We're about to come back. That's All right. Okay. All right. You are done, you're done. You know, right? we played a game of Magic where I was over 100 halfway through the game and did not win. <laughs> All right. Someday. It's a little different in Commander than it is in Sealed Deck. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I might do this. Uh huh. Just to, to try and maybe. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and I'm going to yeah. need a little bit of assistance with this. All right, how much assistance do you <laughs> hey, need? Hey, I know what that means. I would really appreciate at least a one, a one, I guess. Yeah. Here's I'm going to pay one assist for Gavin. We're going to play Huddle Up. 
two target players each draw a card. I'll Thank choose both you. of us. Okay. Mary. Thank you. I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Both yeah, each draw Gavin one and card. Brian. Yeah. Well, I got, it was a land. I, I think you actually have to target people with the same name. Right? Um, yeah. So. And your first video for that pick. All right, so you got to land. That, that's good. All right, I play a mountain. That's good. Thank I you. can at least do yeah, this. fire off both those boys. All right. Uh, no, this one's a girl. Uh, off those. Red and a red and a green for a Pathmaker Initiate. Initiate. She is a two-one target creature with power two or less. Can't be blocked this turn. And then I will. Oh, she's a girl too. Red and a green for a Borderland Marauder. Two girls. Hey. Uh, so one two. Whenever Borderland Marauder attacks, it gets plus two plus zero until end of turn. All right, and then I'm gonna mount our flying defense a little bit. Here, All right. right, with a Urborg Drake, nice. an invasion classic, a two three. Ah oh, yes, excellent blocker. It <laughs> can block for one turn. Okay, <laughs> it has to attack every turn of able. Phenomenal. Uh, Noted blocker, Urborg Drake. <laughs> Look, just need one turn of blocker. Uh, and I, we don't really have to get a good attack. I've got a three three, not attacking with that. I see. Yeah, we're not getting in with that. So. Yeah, we're just gonna pass. Yep. Okay. Draw. At least, at least I can do this yep, now. Yep, 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 yep. A little bit closer. Well, I did draw land. Hey! Wow. wow. So that's Look valuable. That. That's really good. And you're at 19. I don't like that question, yeah. but yes, we are. I think that you just want to play. How about you do that and then? Yeah. Well, uh, well so yeah, I'm gonna play Proud Mentor <gasps> and let you go get an Impetuous Protege. Oh no. Yeah. Partner with you get to go get it. I forget what that card does, so we should definitely, we should definitely get it out of your deck before we make the rest of our decisions for the turn. Agreed. It's worth it just to see Olivia have to search her library. Oh, we get just like a nice close up of this. No one help her. No one help her. Yeah. If you can't find she it, brought you this on herself. Fun. If it's at the top of this deck, I'm gonna lose my mind. I think it is. <laughs> You, you definitely can't see it's every literally card. your next card, is it? No, second time. Oh my god. <laughs> so let's, let's show it, because I, I, oh, I, let's, yeah, that, yeah. So, so we know you're not cheating. Right. right. Yeah. This is a zero four, uh, when it attacks, gets plus X plus zero, where X is the greatest power among tapped creatures your opponents control. Right. Oh no. No, give. If only you had any creatures that might become tapped. This could also tap some things. It's you true, know? yeah. It's a little, uh, little one two punch. Mondo. Mondo. The old partner Wild. combination. The one two. The old impetuous protege, proud mentor, one two punch. We're kind of in a stalemate. This is pinging them down. I don't want to attack with this because this is untapped. Tap four for fan favorite. Yeah. This is a two two human rogue that you can pay two and it gets one one until the end of the turn. And any player can activate mm -hmm. it. Even us. If we're yeah. feeling generous. All right. Yes. Can you do the can you do the thing? The fan favorite, uh, the little fan favorite pose. Yeah. So that this makes it very difficult later on if they spend mm -hmm. all their mana like they did mm -hmm. now. If if like we attack with that, makes it very difficult to block because we can both pump it. Yeah. All right. All right. Uh, and then I believe uh, we are not going to make any attacks. So we'll this take turn. one off the race. So you runners. take one. Yes. Yeah. You take one. Of, so we go to 18. 18. Correct. Yes. All right. Next turn. Yes. All right. Untap. Draw in unison. Here we go. Not what I needed. Oh, okay. All right, still something. I will tap my path maker initiative to give the thing unblockable. Right. And then we'll go to combat. Mm -hmm. We'll attack you with the Urborg Drake because it is compelled to. Yes. And the Saltwater Stalwart because we want to. Okay. Okay. So we will take four damage. Okay. Ooh. And uh, target player choose... draws a card. I think I'm going to choose you. It's hoping that I get that. Yeah, I There's we... only two in the damn deck. I think we got it. We got to work uh -oh. toward it. All right, let's give you a card. All right. I have a feeling I might know what it is. Oh, that's still a great draw. Yeah, that is actually. What do you want to use it on right now? Yeah, I think we need to fry something. Yeah. Okay. Leave, leave, leave our creatures alone. No. Not, I don't like that idea as much. I think maybe this isn't the best thing to hit, but the Proud Mentor is going to be an issue going long. Yeah. The other option is the fan favorite, right. which might be an issue for us in the long term. What do you think? What's the call? What's the call, Mr. Wow, Barry? He's looking at me for everything. Yeah, it's yeah. one-headed giant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let, let me actually do something before you choose what you're yeah. going to do. I'm gonna cast Omen Speaker and do a little scry in too. Yeah. Omen Speaker, see if I find anything good here. Scry me a river. Am I allowed to you look are, at your cards? You are, scry? but you don't, you don't really want it. I'm gonna put them both on the bottom of my library. That's terrible. Uh, Flush all right, that. That, that gave us no more information. No. I guess I'm I guess I'm down to just save that. Save it. Save that and just, yeah. and just jam jam Mr. Big over Mr. there. Big? I, Mr. I, Big? All right. Mr. Big. It's time for Mr. Big. Tapping all of these, including uh, two forests. For a Charging Rhino, it's a 4-4 and it can't be blocked by more than one creature. And I'm gonna play the old Screeching Buzzard. 2-2 two -two Flyer, when it dies, you both discard a card. Okay, go ahead. What's on tap? Hey, Wrong. I'm gonna play a mountain. I think so I have this, which I can now, here. I'm gonna play my planes. Oh, the big reveal. 
God. I'll, tra I'll trade you two forests for a plains. So I am going to use Proud Mentor to tap Screeching Buzzard. Tapped. Oh. And then with some assistance. Am I giving you all my assistance? Yes. Really? Mm hmm. Okay. It's a big fella. Charging Binox. Binox. Wow. The 7 5 trample. Yeah. So assist allowed uh, me to play that. My four, four land and you. Actually, you have one land. No, no, I played that. Yeah, yeah, never mind. That, that was where the math came out. So yes, uh, and then we will attack you with the Lightwalker for three. Right. Down right. to 15. We are down to 15. And then one more and from the Razor. Step from Razor. So we're in the end step. We go down to 14. Right. Under half our life total. All right, here we Not go. Not good. It's a good start. It's a good Not start. Not good. All right. All right, come draw. on. This is, hang on, hang on. Gavin, before we draw, I think it's obvious we need a planes here for my deck. I'm so the same thing. Let's, <laughs> come on. Wow. Outside assistance. No way, this is in our deck. <laughs> Lim duel in our arsenal. <laughs> it's in our arsenal. Okay, here it is. Okay, it is fire on the board. Oh, I reversed the polarity, and you reversed it right uh, back. It looks, looks like a, looks like a planes to me. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. These are all Doctor Who jokes. Yeah, yes, the whole, they, whole they thing. get it. No, I do don't. they? Do they though? Anyway, I've never seen a clearly. Single episode. You, you shouldn't. You shouldn't no. be trying to find a planes against a team that's burninating the entire countryside. Okay. All the people. I will give you. I will get. Well, I'll trade you three forests for a planes. <laughs> All right, so we can, we can this still, is Catan, right? <laughs> we can still get you to draw an extra card this Okay, okay. Facts roof All right. Um, okay, I think we should okay. do that before we do much O. All right, so I'm going to make this unblockable again, so I assume. So make this unblockable again. I'm going to tap the Pathfinder Initiate to make yep. the thing unblockable. Yep. yep. I don't think we have any other things we want to do yet. No. Hey, it's how much, too? Uh, Hang on, hold we have on there. Hold on, Buckaroo. I believe the correct term is slow your roll. I will not. Uh, but yes, we're, we're, this is compelled to attack. Right. This will attack of its own free will. Okay. All right. So it's so it's and then I draw a card. I will choose to have Brian draw a card. Yeah, oh, that's a, card. A, that's a goodie though. Is it? That right. is a goodie. Well, we can do it if we want. Uh, do you want to do it? Well, there's, okay, the Which, first the first big play yeah. is, I think I want to play this this turn. I'm going to need one mana from you if I want to do that. All right. Uh, I can assist, I'm going to assist my partner here with one mana. All right. Uh -oh. So a lot. I'm going to cast Seven manas? Yes. Spell Weaver yes. Duo. Ooh. It's a 4-4, four, four, and I get to return a tapped creature to okay. its owner's hand. So we can either bounce the Proud Mentor, which is tapping our stuff down, or the Light Walker. You should bounce the Decorated Chamber. No, yeah, no right. I think not. It'll shrink them. So the smaller. Bounce the Light Walker and toast the Mentor, probably. All right. We so bounce we'll the Light Walker. Bounce the Light Walker. And then, after it has been bounced, That's it's flat. time for some toast. One red and two. To bathe it in dragon fire. On the Proud Mentor. Four damage to target creature. Okay, yes. So Quest for the Grave Lord gets a counter from Proud Mentor dying. You would think that an educator like yourself would leave a mentor alone. You know, this is this is violence. He's, he's against, too proud. Did you, did you know community college? Community. community college teachers have a lot of infighting. <laughs> bit, bitterness <laughs> towards one another. That one probably had tenure and I just can't stand it. <laughs> <laughs> he was just uh, too proud. Yes, you know, yes. he's, his his ego really got in the way. Yes. All right. Um, that's gonna be it for that's us. That's gonna be it for us. Over to you. All right. Okay. Let's untap. Draw. I'm gonna play Swamp. Play a Plains. Oh, found a land. Um, and let's go ahead and get you a Soul Blade Corruptor by playing Soul Blade Renewer. Okay. And you get to support too. We do. Huge. So let's go ahead and support on the Binox. And the Raze Runner. Yeah. So it is now an 8 6 Trampler. 8 6 Trample coming at you. That's pretty sweet. So the what? Corruptor. Don't read it yeah, out. We literally <laughs> showed it. <laughs> you showed, you should show it to us. Oh my god, look what she just got. So yeah, it's whenever a creature with a plus one plus one counter attacks one of your opponents, that creature gains death touch until it turns. So that's really powerful with the Binox, which has Trample. So it only has to assign one damage to anything. Yeah. We've got this here. Yeah. Yeah, that's nothing. I can tell. <laughs> 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 oh, you're to to it was your delayed. Uh, you should have immediately been like shh, like that, but it was your delayed. Mm hmm. Okay, so Soul Blade Corruptor coming to play. Yes. It itself has Death Touch, yes. and uh, let's go to attacks. Okay. Yes. We will attack you with charging Binox. Okay, so it's an 8 6 trampling Death Touch. Oh my right. god. So. We're Let's gonna just kill it. Right. So no matter what we block with, they're gonna sign damage to it. And yeah. then so and we just need to do six damage to it. Right. So I should block with my spell weaver duo. Uh-huh. Which is go for four. We need to make a So just just a clarification. Trample death touch assigns one to anything. 
one. To, it only needs to kill to do one to it because it has death touch. So trample death touch. One damage kills anything that blocks it. Correct. Okay. Just right. just making sure that's clicks oh, yeah. for four. Oh, that's that's that's, that's power. Okay. For power, okay. buddy. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to kill, kill your dude. <laughs> well, the, for folks at home who might not know that too. <laughs> for the audience, pretty there. important. That combination is yes. very powerful. Yeah, it's very strong. Why did I put that right. in there? Okay, so we've got <laughs> uh, we've got this. So this is a uh, four four. So we need two more power worth of stuff. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna block. I'm gonna take one from the team. Bro. Okay. I'm gonna put my Spellweaver duo and my Screeching Buzzard. Oh, unless they have shock. That is one thing we gotta watch out for. If they have shock or- We did or see in, that we had- We do have Maybe shock. a shock in our deck. Then and I do have one mana. No. One red mana open. If we do that, we get totally blown out. <laughs> Literally. Like, like, are we really spending that mana to pump this up one plus yeah, one? Yeah, the two flyers would probably more valuable. Yeah, let's All do right, this so let's they can't with, do it. All right, we'll go duo and the hunter. All right, okay. we're blocking with the hunter and the duo against that. So what happens? Okay, so I will Describe assign it. one damage to each of them with yeah. death touch. Uh, so I get to trample over for six and yeah. both your creatures die. Oh, that's really unfair. All right, why'd you design it that way? <laughs> <laughs> so, we, uh, so we take six. We take six. We go to eight. Two creatures have died. Yeah, three creatures died. Because the, the binox as well. True. So Crest of the Gravelord is now online. So we can sacrifice that at No! Or no sacrifice. You just removed remove? three Oh counters. wow. I was so used no, to you, playing you, that. You, you sacrifice it. Yeah. Oh, it's and, and sacrifice. Yeah. Yeah. What? And sacrifice. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, I was like, yes, you can sacrifice right, that to make right a five. There. five. You can't just keep making five fives uh, of that. Why not? Hmm. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> I can think of a couple of reasons. That might yeah. not cost one mana then. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we will be done, and our take two. Take two. Off the we, the okay. land continues to burn. We go to Wait, six. Wrong, wrong We're at six. Here. All right. What are you guys at? Twenty-two. Oh my God, Gavin. <laughs> We're burninating all the people. This is a big. Yeah, we are indeed burninating. We find a planes right, here. Yeah. We're in business. Planes. We're in business. Four. Not a planes. That's a good card. Good poker face. So <laughs> <laughs> we got some moves. Let's do the board wipe. Oh yeah, is that, is that what you're thinking? <laughs> yeah, is that what yeah. you're thinking here? I think we actually got some good moves. All right, let's see them. Okay, I think we're gonna do nothing before we attack, though. I think we're just gonna do the same trick we've been doing. All right, so I'm going to tap the uh, mm -hmm. Painmaker Initiative. Initiate, in, initiate, in, initiate, uh, initiate. Yeah, uh, initiate. That one. There it is. Uh, and then we're gonna serve in with the Drake. Four Great. total. And the Stalwart for four damage. Great. Down to 18. Who's drawing, you or me? Me, thank you. Mm, I think we're gonna. It sounded like a yes. I think we're gonna that was continue. An Can I see your hand again? Okay, I, I think about a plan for us. I think the yeah. plan involves me drawing a card. Okay. So I'm gonna draw a card. All right. What's okay. the plan? Well, you'll have to wait till the till the next episode to find this out. This is about. this is a poker face. Draws right. the card, nothing happens. <laughs> Absolute stone face. Right. Well, but I trick you. You don't know what I have. Not based a plane. Off of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna play. I know that. All right, I'm gonna do a green and a red. For All right. Decorated for a champion. decorated champion. Our own decorated champion. Oh, I didn't even notice you had that. Another one. one. Two two, another warrior enters the battlefield, and then we'll play a sickle dancer, which is a warrior, and we'll put a plus one plus one counter Ooh. on your decorated champion. All right, and then we're gonna pass our turn over to you guys. All right. So at the end of their turn, we want to make a giant. Okay. So what are you doing here? I'm going to set. I'm going to remove three counters from Quest for the Graveyard and sacrifice oh, it. I thought it was. I thought it was five counters. No, it's three. Okay, well we got three. Got three okay, in that turn. Anyway. Last turn. Yeah, 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 we got. It was the third we one. Got, we third, got fourth there. and fifth. All came last. Correct. Time. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so I am going to sacrifice Quest for the Graveyard. I've removed the counters and make a five-five black zombie giant creature token. And for the first time, try to take a card off of the board. <laughs> Good luck. Oh dear. Oh me. Oh my. Okay. All right. We got there. And so you're going to draw a zombie giant. Shh. With using cloth. using infinite tokens, not a sponsor Yay! of this channel. Just, just awesome. Great. Just awesome. Just great. Aren't infinite tokens awesome? That's they're not a sponsor. We just love them and use them naturally. Your handwriting with wow. those claws is better than mine. That I know. Normally, awesome. your handwriting with those claws <laughs> is better than your manipulation of those cards with those Shut claws. Oh, definitely, <laughs> for sure. Oh no! Oh, it's a little little little. Uh, that's how you know it's a giant. giant. The townsfolk. You need some fleeing. perspective. All right. Exactly. I give it a C there plus. There we go. Wow. What the Urza. First. <laughs> generous grade from me. Statistically, I don't think that's true. Yeah, that's actually not. <laughs> ah. Okay, now, untap. Except for my pal over here. Woo! So that happened during our end step? Yes. Right, so now that 5-5 five five is free to battle. That seems broken, Gavin. I think you need to do another revision on this set oh, and yeah. pass on it. <gasps> do you mean Battle Bond 2? That would be cool. Uh, When's Battle Bond 2 coming I out, I would Gavin? love to make a Battle Bond 2. Yeah. Yes, so, please? I assume all that is required is you deciding to do it and there are no other factors. Nope, none whatsoever. That is how it works. Yes, yes. Okay, well then what the hell? Again, the lands and the pre-cons. Hashtag Battle Bond 2. 
Hashtag lands and precons. Okay, That's I have, more I have some thoughts here. I drew an interesting card. You have thoughts. What a surprise. I know, I know. Do you I just know. sacrifice the rest of my land? Well, that's, that's, <laughs> if you, if you had one more land, it was, it would be potentially lethal, right? Yeah. Because you could sacrifice three, which would put them at once. We yeah. actually, we, we literally need to get one damage through without spending your mana. Yeah. Don't let them get a damage. <laughs> Thank <laughs> God they said that. Imagine if he hadn't said that. And I'd just been like, well, it's one damage. Thanks, Kibbs. Yeah, what's one damage when you're at six? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, life is a resource. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll swing for 30. Cool, no blocks. <laughs> okay, all right. I just want to try and kill them. Wow, what a what a, what a plan. What a, obviously a pro player. He just wants to try and <laughs> right. defeat the opponent. I mean, what a know. strategy. Jesus. Well, what happens if things go wrong? That's the, the that's the other question. You're what, what twenty nine life or whatever? I'm oh, sure you'll 18? be. Oh, muffin. <laughs> so yeah, for, for reference, we can attack for a grand total of twenty two damage. So, assuming all of your creatures live, if, if all my if all our creatures okay. attack, yeah. and I yeah. am going to cast Mangara of Kurandor. Cool. And now, yep. do this on, on it. I oh, will. that's fun. We're going to expedite, expedite Mangara of Kurandor. Okay. So uh, he gets haste. Hold, hold, hold on, maybe not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, maybe this is bad. Maybe Gavin has opinions. Uh, uh, wait, uh, uh, um, um, uh, uh, I think I want to fire this off right now. Yeah. So in response, in response, I'm gonna last gasp. What? Mangara. I give it minus three, minus three. Okay. So Mangara will die. Yep. So it's good that that, that combat trick didn't screw up our actual combat too. Uh huh. But your spell fizzles. It, yeah. Yes. So we uh -huh. actually do not get to draw a card with that. That's horse. Elish Norn. So <laughs> it is. <laughs> What a reaction to expedite fizzling! Like my God, it's hard. Elish Norn. It's I wanted the minor. I play. wanted card draw. Okay, we're so dead. With that attitude, <laughs> I think we just attack with everything. I think you're mistaken with everything. Why? I think we hold Razor Runners back to hit them for damage no matter what. But they have to block it now too. They can't let you know, like unless they have like a giant growth effect, which maybe we have some sort of way to deal with. Then That's a good thing I opened that giant growth, <laughs> yeah. and they don't I, know that I have giant yeah, growth, I, I, so well, they're gonna attack into it. Let's attack with this. everything. Yeah, yeah, right. Oh, we'll attack with all of our creatures. Okay, which is something right. that I've said many times in, in my days of playing Magic. No. Uh, all, right. Uh, all right, and so the Rage Runners gets Death Touch as well. Yes, <laughs> which is worth noting. I just don't wanna. Yeah, this. you're actually getting pretty good with that. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So. so we gotta do some blocks. Yes. Uh, I think we have the giant growth. Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrified. We, we will we will at some point, yeah. So we're going to have the Doom to Center block the Raze Runners, because that's yeah. the biggest thing. Now, once, yeah. we've, once we've committed to doing this and not killing the Raze Runners, right. we have to block all their creatures, because she's got three yes. activations of the Raze Runners showing, which would be lethal for us. Right. So that's the idea. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I, I'm not a big fan of this idea. So <laughs> then we just got to figure out how to make the best profit blocks we can. So I think right. the, the Charging Rider goes in front of the 3-3 three, three Soul Blade Corruptor. Okay. This that is Death Touch, by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, that has Bath. Bath has Death, death Touch. Death. By All right, that goes in oh, front of the stadium. Gavin, did you design the card? <laughs> Designing the card means you should know what the card does. Designing the card, wow. Designing wow. card explains the card. Explains the card. Explains the card. Is that what it is? I'll tell you one thing. Designing the card not, does not explain the card because you forget so these changes. things all the time. In honor of what you told me, squinting at the card also explains it. <laughs> <laughs> So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna block the Soul Blade Corruptor with Sickle Dancer, so they'll trade, ideally. Stadium Vendors with Charging Rhino, so we'll eat the Stadium Vendors. We'll chump block the Zombie Giant with Borderland Marauder. Goblin Raze Runners will get chump blocked by Doom Dissenter. We'll put Screeching Buzzard in front of Fan Favorite, Decorated Champion in front of Soul Blade Renewer, and Omen Speaker in front of Saddleback Legac. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks for your agreement. All your, all your deep thoughts. When do I there. do my combat trick? Yeah, we're gonna do the combat trick okay. right now. Cool. Okay, so now we have the they, they get priority first. Okay. okay. They get priority first. We do have priority first. Okay. And I think yes. you should times? pump fan favorite just once. No. Yeah. Okay. okay. That makes fan favorite a three three, a three, three so it will survive. Right. Or will it? Because uh, it'll survive. Okay. Uh, so we're, we're gonna oh, we're gonna cast this card. I'm gonna tap two, and as always, as I always do. I'm going to lead by example. Oh, okay. so thoughtful. Support too. So, and that is, so is support chosen on resolution? Oh, when, when, when you cast. Okay. Right, so our targets are gonna be Omen Speaker to have it survive the Saddleback with Gak. So yeah, we'll target the Decorated Champion. All right. So we'll target Omen Speaker, Decorated Champion. See, I think what we wanna do is just, yeah. So Legak's so. gonna die. Decorated Champion will live and the Soul Blade Renewer will die. 
Uh, this dies. And you both discard a card. I will discard a Cowl Prowler. And get rid of this. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to launch Prakata Club Security. Uh, Doom to Center will die, and I'll make a 2 2 zombie creature token. Uh, the blood Borderland Marauder is going to die. Yep. And then this dies, yep. and these trade. Yep. Okay. Uh, and then post combat, I'm going to play the Lightwalker once again. Yep. And then I think turn Goblin Raze Runners does 2D. Ooh. You're not going to sack, sack more lands? Okay, no. We might need those for something. No, we that would those. probably be really stupid play. All right. Yeah. So, he, so here's the deal, Brian. Yeah. If you have a planes on top of your deck. Okay. Which you've got four sources in your deck. You've got planes, planes, fertile ground, and elvish wayfinder. What, what if I have a planes? I'm also Brian. Uh, I'm less worried about that scenario. Uh, I am aware of the sources of planes in my deck. So. And they're all on the bottom. They're all on the bottom. So, but all right, we got to do it again. We got to do it again here. Yeah. I don't know I, why you're going time. to. The second time. Off takes a doctor a few times. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's not even. Fifty percent of the time, it works all the time. <laughs> all right. Here we go. You wow. ready? Gavin's Wait, actually works. Yours didn't you, make it. Three, two, together, two, two one. one. You didn't make yours big. Yeah, well, look, okay, That's some of us are short. My, my battery's dead because it's so old. <laughs> yeah. I bought this when David Tennant was the doctor. <laughs> All right. Those two combined. <laughs> Should we draw our card? You didn't All right, I'm did. just literally going to say this. If work? this is, just, hang on, if this is a planes, if this is a planes, we win the game, right? Uh, Do you agree? It's definitely no, I, 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 I agree that you probably can play a spell that wins the game. Oh, it is a source of green. So untap your lands. Of white. Or of, of white, yeah. <laughs> it, it, is, it is a source of white. So untap okay. your lands. Okay. All, right. Okay. All right, we're going to cast this. We're going to spend uh, a green, a red, and a green for a jungle wayfinder. When jungle wayfinder enters the battlefield, each player may search the library for a basic land card, reveal it, and put it into their hand, then shuffle their library. Each player? Yeah, we that's right. Everyone. Aren't we yeah. kind? Couldn't you have done this like turn three I, when I was yeah. like, I had two lands? We were actually holding it till now. Oh, yeah, wow. a basic. Right. It would have okay. been just out of just to show one, two, three, oh, four, ground four five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It would have been twelve turns till I drew a plane. And it goes in your program. hand, right? Not in into your hand. Into my oh, hand. Sorry. But I haven't played a land for turns. Yeah, so. I don't choose the plan. Do, do you do you do you do you need to cut my deck, Gibbs? No. Well, I, I, I'm under the impression that now you have a planes, you're just gonna win. So I, I feel like I I I I better I better. All right. All right so now we're gonna play the planes. Now we're gonna play the planes. And then so, we're definitely gonna fire that off. The only question is where. We, we're this, right? Yeah. Yeah. Thank yeah. God. So we want to play it on one of our four power attackers. So I think let's put it on the Rhino. All right. It's Rhino time. Uh oh, Rhino. I'm casting Unflinching Courage in honor of Brian Kibler. Uh, it's sorry. kind of an armadillo cloak. Armadillo cloak is so it's, much better. Right, but you know, Kyle Hill gets more views. So, uh, enchant creature, enchanted creature gets plus two, plus two, and has trample and lifelink. The, the lifelink is the key there. Yes. Yeah, that's not great. Nope. No. And now, uh, full flunge. Uh, well, I don't I don't know about a full flunge, but like no. a pretty decently sized flunge. All right. So I know we're going to attack with these three because I okay. want to be able to get the card. We have to make sure that we don't take too much damage on the crack back because that Raze Runners can still hit us for a ton of damage. Sure. I guess I like sending in the decorated champion too, and then we'll leave the rest of our friends at home. Should have attacked with everything. They got nothing. They got nothing. I mean, if you want it, you can. No, uh, never mind. Uh, they, got, they, they got something. They got something. They got something. For a second. They got something. I, th I think we're just gonna take the damage. All right. So it's gonna put them back at ten. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yep. All right. So we go back to ten. Sweet. And you take fourteen and go to four. Yes. Okay. Uh, Saltwater <laughs> stalwart triggers. Turns out armadillo cloaking a creature can really swing a game. Yeah. I will draw oh. card. Yogmoth. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice draw. We don't like that. Sweet! You don't like to hear that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah. That's really good. I think good. we want to fire this off. Oh, yeah, baby. Do it. Do it. That will slow their assault down a little bit. Okay, so we're going to go with the old Frost Links. Ew. Which will tap and freeze one of their creatures. <sighs> Is there a trample trick in this? Time to run through all the cards in this set <laughs> in my head. I don't even know what you cards are in you? our decks. Know, and yeah. you're like, what are all the cards all right, in this set? I, I, I forget I think what I we like have. tapping the Light Walker. I all right. It is tapped. All right, lock down the Light Walker. And I'm going to leave four mana up and pass the turn over to you. Okay, I think we just want to put counters on, on Raze Runner here. Okay. And sacrifice right, two. Because I can do it when we, step, Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think uh, now just using our mana here is important. Let's okay. sacrifice probably a swamp and a mountain. Yeah. And put two counters on Raze Runner. We'll put two counters on Raze Runner. Right, so that goes up to four. Oops. Four. 
I don't get to untap any creatures. This, this is, is really. I'm still like, drawing. Oh, yeah. You admit what is this? Feet? Ice Age? Yeah. No, it's Battle Bond. I've done every single complex action with these on. Oh, Miss yeah. me. Good. Can you do the simple action of untap. Yes. <laughs> I didn't know if we. Because <laughs> we're talking. Draw. Well. I'm gonna play a swamp. Okay. Um, now we have more life than you. I want to make sure that's there. Look at that. How's it feel? Fine. Not, not no a, different. Not the best. You're still Brian right. Kibler and Olivia. This got to feel. I know. Good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you even have? You've shown me your hand once. These. Okay. <laughs> still had all these. Okay, so I am gonna play a okay. champion of Arishin. Oh, life like it. Which will grow this, even though I forgot other counters because it doesn't really matter because he's been tapped since like turn four. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then I think we have to just say go. Really? All right. We Untap. Have no, we have no good attacks. Upkeep. We have no good Draw. You're not, but you're not sacking more stuff to the raise runners before you say go. He no. said go. No, I don't think we want to because I think I think that we need to. We can't kill you here. Mm -mm. You have too many blockers, so I think we need to try and stay alive. So. But we'll hit you for four on our yeah, next step. Take four for the raise runner. Yeah, we, we got. All right, so we'll take four from the raise runner. We take four, oh, go to tap. six. We got some We got some moves this turn. We got some moves. Untap our stuff. You want moves, Kibler? We'll show you oh, moves. We got, it's, it's Boogie Nights over here. No, 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 that's from oh, uh, the it, Dr. Dancers. It's the Dr. Dances, yeah. Dr. Dancers. Yeah, you want moves, Rose? I'll give you moves. I don't know. Be one of the best episodes of Doctor Who ever. Oh, All right, great. untap. All right, untap everything. Upkeep. Drawer. Drawer? That's a terrible drawer. Well, you should have got a cabinet instead. Yeah. Um, okay. You have how many? You have you have three cards in your hand. One card. In your I hand. have one card. She has three cards. All right. Play a mountain. Now here's what I'm thinking. Yes. I guess we. I guess this one is probably. Give it some thought. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Let his let his brain go to work. <laughs> let his brain go to work. Come on. I think, you I, designed I think, well, this we'll set. Your lead design. I think this. this I think this, this is going to just be this. this. Yeah. That's just going to be way sweet. Do it right now. Fire it off. All right. So I've given it some thought, we and I think- We haven't done anything of the sort. Just play the card. All right. <laughs> We're going ahead and spending four for Anger's Sanction. Oh. For each player, choose friend or foe. Each friend puts a plus one, plus one counter on each creature they control. Each foe chooses one untapped creature they control, then taps the rest. Yeah, that's horrific. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. Well, I have one untapped creature. So, uh, well, who, friends and foes, can you announce who's your friend and who's your foes? Uh, Gavin is my friend. Uh, am I your friend? You are my foe. Wow. You are my foe. Wow. Easy. Okay, I will choose this. I think we choose the Raze Runner and leave that untapped. Mm -hmm. So the others tap. Okay. <clears throat> and then all of our stuff gets plus and plus and counters as well. Yes. yes. Gosh, I don't know if we have enough dice in all of Tolarian Community College for all those counters. We just barely made it. Okay. So things we gotta think about. Nine. We'll, we'll gain life off of Charging Rhino yes. when we attack with it. Died. They'll gain three off Champion of Erishin, but I think we should just serve with everybody. Yeah. And then... Full serve? I think full serve. Full send, you ready? Oh, let's All do right. it. Full sending. If it weren't for that... What is the full send? Because did you, neither of y'all had stuff tapped ahead of time, right? No, right. Okay. everything is a tap. Literally every creature. This is all I'm, coming at you. Yeah, we're just gonna be dead. We we had two tricks, actually. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, what'd you get? So we had Gang Up and Thunder Strike. Oh. So like, we could Thunder Strike, First Strike that, so you wouldn't gain life. Right. Or, gain, up, more, or, or gain more, or gain more off life of off of something. Yeah. But yeah, we, we actually had, we were one mana short of being able to gang, it's a gang up on that yeah. when you, when you armored Woo! up. That turn. would have been yeah. pretty rough. Yeah. Oh, wow, what a yeah. turnabout. Yeah, the, the the double combat trick from that thing really yeah. hurt our, our all-in attack there, and uh, and yeah. That's why you never go all in. Of course you do. No, we went all in. Yeah, Doctor. Yeah. Doctor dances. Yeah, yeah. all right. right. <laughs> but of course, good game. Good game. Oh wait, am I not supposed to offer the handshake if I won, Brian? Is that considered rude? I didn't mean, I, I genuinely didn't mean to be rude. And I, I forgot that don't that care. was a whole pro player controversy was yeah. you're supposed it's to offer the handshake. It's not actually a pro player controversy. No. Because no one who, it's, it's a, a lot of a lot of those sort of etiquette things that yeah. people get mad about are not like actual pro players who ever get mad about them. All the pro players are generally like really But I saw nice. like, it was like top thread on Reddit. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's not the pro means. players. <laughs> good anyway, game. Good game. Good game. Good game. You call me your foe, not your <laughs> opponent. It says friend or foe. All right, tell you what. You made your choices. <laughs> why don't Why don't we grab Why don't we grab another twelve packs and go get some lunch and uh, play with some uh, 
Play another Battle Bond over lunch. Oh, should I bring down the Battle Bond 2 file? Should we play yeah. Yeah, yeah, right, Battle, Bond two, Battle Bond 2, Battle Bond 2. Hashtag Battle Bond 2. <laughs> this, this, this is so much fun, Mike. It's been reinvigorated. Yes. <laughs> so you're going to actually, you've had the file. It's just sitting on your So computer. remember everybody. There's going to be so many more lands in this set. It's so it, many more dual like, lands. It's, <laughs> it's like yeah. multiplayer. It's like cold snap, you know? It's just a hiding behind right, the right, right. So You just got to pull it out of well, retirement. It's going to finally finish the cycle of the Battle Bond lands because there was only five in here and they, you know. Everybody go to your LGS and go grab a box of Battle Bond, it's releasing what? Soon? Yeah. <laughs> it's releasing yeah. five years ago. June yeah. 2018. Yeah, go, go back yeah. in time. Uh, and uh, yeah. Can't recommend it enough. <laughs> yeah. You know, some might say that literally inviting the lead designer for Battle Bond down here to be my partner in Battle Bond is some kind of a abuse in that I am giving myself an unfair advantage and that I'm setting myself up to win in an imbalanced way. And to that I say, yeah. Well, uh, I stalled in two land, got my uh, my big creature, immediately claustrophobiaed, and uh, then it was still close against the lead designer of the set. So, what can you do? It was really fun being able to play Battle Bond with Kibler. We don't often get to like co-op in Magic. And then playing against Gavin, wow, what an opponent. Just a way to pull it out at the end. Playing two decks himself is just incredible. You know, years from now, people will ask me about my greatest Magic accomplishments. and. Was it designing Battle Bond? No, no, no. But there was another one done today. And it was not winning with the professor at my side, which is a delight. But I think among my greatest magic accomplishments, my greatest achievements will be defeating Brian Kibler with an armadillo cloak. Or basically armadillo cloak. I mean, that is his trademark card. One of the first magazines I ever read was talking about how Kibler won with armadillo cloak. And now I just beat him by putting it on a charging rhino. That's going on the list. Armadillo cloak at home. <laughs> Armadillo, what? <laughs> Next time on Shuffle Up and Play. We're just keeping it casual, aren't we, gang? We're casual commander here. I'm Spy Rack, and I'm evading jury duty. My commander is Guyome, Master Chef. I'm Krim. I decided to build my Dromar the Banisher deck. My name's Evan, otherwise better known as Dark Pack Cosplay on the internet. I'll be playing Liliana, Heretical Healer. Old, classic, casual commander deck of mine, Sliver Overlord. Mm, that's yeah, not that's a casual Urza. deck. Sliver. Definitely I have a deck for you that you. is casual, though. Okay. And apparently, a are you kidding me? What casual means to Krim <laughs> is someone holding guns named Pew Pew! <laughs> Mind Ben. Well, first, I'm gonna make your Urborg make everybody have plants. No. Oh! So, Rise of uh, the Dark Realm. Do you wanna do that with the Ferocity on the board? Oh, well, yeah, that's gonna be a little painful. <laughs> Coat of Arms. So oh! Each creature. Uh, so, anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew, pew.